What's up, Team Money? Uh, hey, YouTube, I have a uh, dual commentary. Uh, my very first dual commentary, all thanks to uh, Team Money. Uh, Team Money 1, I'll link his channel in this video. But uh, first off, Team Money, uh, big topic Black Ops. What do you think about it? What do you think about it? Here, <laughs> that Black Ops is gonna be crazy, man. Like, when I watched the trailer, I noticed it looked a little bit like, uh, like, uh, what's the game called? Battlefield. I don't do But yeah, that's freaking uh, the holographic has a circle now. And I noticed that um, Rock was saying that the dude's clan tag was on the back of the gun, which I noticed. Because he like slowed Ooh. it down and he like showed the little clan tag on the back of the gun. So I would love to have, yeah. Yeah, that's actually really sick. They like it's the little things in these games that they make that make them really good. Like I thought the exact same thing. I didn't even think I was watching a Call of Duty multiplayer gameplay trailer until I saw that. Like I was like, dude, I right when I saw it, I was like, is this Battlefield? And yeah. um, uh, it looks like they 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 really um they took a lot of the a couple of the fights that I saw. Right from uh, Modern Warfare 2, because I know these two companies work together. Like the the one gun looked like the Famas. Uh, yeah. That looked really cool, and that would be like cool if you could like make your own clan tag. Because uh, I, I I think I heard that somewhere too that soldiers were able to like write like notes on their gun like to know that it was their gun or something. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, so that yeah. that spike, man. I, yeah. Um, they added that new dolphin die feature, which looks a little stupid to me. Because, like, the kid, he was just, like, running. Then he just, like, died in the sky. And then he, like, just came back up. It was weird. I was like, what's that called? And then I saw Fish the Cups was talking about the dolphin die. I was like, that's weird. Yeah, mm. that RC car is going to be amazing. Kill all those campers. I, no more I think, campers. Yeah, no more campers. I will drive that straight into a building of, like, three people. Yeah, like, I would, too. And I also like how they're really they're really making you work for your kill streaks. There's no more there's no more sitting around uh calling my Harrier, run to the nearest building, let my Harrier shoot people. Yeah. Sure, your kill streak will get your KD up, but you gotta go out there. You gotta actually do work for one time. Yeah. For one. You gotta have um, to actually sweat a little bit, put a little elbow grease into it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I Oh, there you, I, you see me knife right there, and I'm a person, I never knife in Call of Duty. <laughs> I've said that multiple times before, but this map, I was getting back at all those tack knifers and run around and knife me. You'll see me save my ass with a knife a couple times here. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about was uh, Halo Reach. And uh, Now, this game looks crazy. This doesn't look like an ordinary Halo, and what I love about yeah. Bungie is that they... they they make a new, they always do something different pretty much, they're really creative people, and the new Forge world looks amazing, and uh, I saw the armors in that game, I don't even think it's going to feel like I'm playing Halo, yeah, or it no is, way. but it's really different, they're trying to attract more people. Yeah, they're trying to attack, attract noobs just like me, because <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely a noob I to the Halo. Well, I, I, I am a, I'm a noob to Halo too. There, if you think about Halo, there's way more thinking that, that goes into um, Halo, I think, than Modern Warfare 2. Uh, but in the Halo Reach beta when I played it, the, the grenades needed to be nerfed, and they did nerf them, but pretty much people weren't thinking at all. They were just spamming grenades. Yeah. That's all they were doing, just throwing grenades. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I played that beta, and I liked it. Like, they give you credits to unlock armor and stuff. Uh, so that's what it's good. Uh, do you think you'll be picking up Halo Reach? Maybe? I will be picking up Halo Reach at release. The at first Halo. Yeah, the my first, first Halo. Halo. Yeah. Yep, that's actually, honestly, uh, it's actually probably a good one to start off. Because the reason it's a good one to start off of is, well, you do need to know a lot of the story, but you don't need to know anything about Master Chief because it's taking place before Master Chief. Which yeah. is a good one. But um, I kind of miss having Master Chief because he was the like the the badass dude in Halo. But uh, yeah. So I, I want to ask, uh, what were you gonna say? Yeah, I was just gonna say I see a lot of uh, Game Stops that have like a little Master Chief helmet. I was just wondering yeah. if you put it on, like. <laughs> <laughs> I actually tried to fit my head in there and, and until I noticed that my head wasn't like two inches and square. So then I was like, game, game fit in there. <laughs> so, uh, 
I wanted to ask you, what do you think, it, off the top of your head, you can think of that they would want to add in there in Black Ops? Uh, well, first off, I, what I really want them to take out because I can't think of anything I want them to add besides okay. the nuke because I really want nukes to be in there because I didn't go for too many in Modern Warfare too, and I would yeah. love to try to get some in uh, Black Ops. So, yeah. yeah. Um, another thing about, uh, that I want to really talk about, um, to add to that, what they should take out, they definitely, I know, I think you said they confirmed that they are taking out, um, Commando, which, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm about to throw a freaking party in my house, they took out Commando, like, there's one of those banners that says, I just saw your living room, like, they took out Commando. Yeah. They definitely, they definitely need to take out Insertion, which they definitely will, because, uh, I don't see, like, players going into that game and fitting in. And honestly, they said that that game um, is uh, Vietnam, but mm -hmm. from the multiplayer trailer, it doesn't look Vietnam at all. Exactly, like, what, since where were there RC cars in, the, in Vietnam? I don't know. I, I mean, I think that, I think the story is based on uh, uh, Vietnam, but maybe yeah. not the uh, game. I mean, that would, that would be a... Like, awesome like that's like a multitasking game right there like yeah. imagine Modern Warfare 2 had like a World War 2 story that you hop on multiplayer and it's like 50 years later <laughs> yeah but I'm so happy they try and confirm the Nazi zombies well I don't think yeah. it's gonna be Nazi zombies but I think it's gonna be some type of zombies so I'm really looking forward to that zombies that'd be awesome no I'm zombies Kamikami Kamikaze Kamikaze zombies <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something weird. Yeah. Uh, so another thing uh, uh, we gotta talk about uh, is uh, later on YouTube. I know you have a uh, pro, um, a um, dual commentary that you'd like to do with Bash and Mills, and uh, yeah. to be quite honest, I really want to do a uh, dual comment Bash too. So if you could like, yeah. I'll, I'll try and both talk to him and see if we can arrange something because dual commentaries are fun now that I got my mic not to peek out on me. <laughs> yeah, my, my uh, friend, K. Hill Prince, he also was talking about doing a dual comp. So yeah, I'm gonna be bumping his and doing yeah. a dual comp with him soon. Yep. Yeah. Uh, as you see, um, uh, right there, I, this map, I had a lot of people, uh, shooting down my stuff. Yeah. Uh, like, cause I got a Harrier and it got me my, I actually had to work for my chopper gunner. Little practicing for Black Ops there, right there, yeah. a guy the flash thing and I randomly shoot um and I kill him and that was bull crap right there the kid's camping in the building with an AUG um I killed him and he came back to the same spot and uh shot through the wall he was just randomly shooting he guessed that I was behind the wall and shot me and killed me I tried phoning and running away but there was nothing I could do I once was playing on carnival and I and like I was in that little room with the little clown and then like this kid just like randomly shoots me. So I'm just like, where did he shoot me from? So I watched the kill cam. He's literally standing against the wall and then like aims his gun in and just, and just like shoots it. And I just like drop dead. I'm just like, wall hack much. <laughs> <laughs> I get frustrated in that game so much. This game, this game uh, definitely is an interesting one when it comes to not making any sense. Uh, this game has a lot of, uh, like, uh, I think I'm gonna do a new thing in my commentary. Like, whenever something bulk that up, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. yeah, little bullshit meter going on. But, uh, hopefully I'll try not to record the bullshit. Uh, but this yeah, is the thing <laughs> I'd like to bring up boosters. You know how much boosters piss everyone off and stuff? Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm happy there's a lot of booster hunting videos. Uh, the same coming to an end, so I have to hurry up and wrap this up. But, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah, it ended. But I like killing tactical and person people better than boosters. Like, I mean, not tactical and person, tactical and Yeah, yeah, yeah. So,